we're going to use the area model. So before we talk about the division, if you watched the last video, you may have understood that division and multiplication have very close relationships. So let's do this first. Also, you may have watched the um, multiplication video with the area model. So let's do 24. This is 4 times 24. Now, this is 20. This part is 4. Now imagine, so imagine there are 4 dots or 4 cupcakes. And there are 20 columns of those cupcakes here. So 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4 and 20 lots. So 20 lots of 4, or 4 lots of 20 is 4 times 2 is 8. So it's 80. So there are 80 cupcakes here. So the 4 cupcakes and the 4 rows or 4 columns of them. So this part here, there are 16 cupcakes. There you go, 16 cupcakes. All together we have 96 cupcakes. Do you remember this? We're using this to do the division. So, ready? So imagine there are 56 cupcakes on this tray and I'm going to make four rows of cupcakes. So we have one, two, three, four cakes there. I'm going to find out how many columns of fours I can make. So four. Now remember we have all together and there are 56 cupcakes all together. Now first thing we need to do is to cut this into tens and ones. So we're going to find out, are there 10 lots of 4s, 20 lots of 4s, 30 lots of 4s I can make in the first box using 10s. So let's say 10, 4 lots of 10s or 10 lots of 4s. 4 times 10, I can put 40 cupcakes here. That's cool, because I have 56, I can fit in. Let's change it to 20. If I have 20 cupcakes this way and four rows, that's two times four is eight. So that's 80. There are 80 cupcakes in here, but I have only 56. So 20 doesn't fit. I can only have 10 columns of four cupcakes, which is 40, right? I used 40 of them. I used 40 out of 56. What's left? That is 16. So this must be 16 in here. There must be 16 in here. I've got four rows. How many fours would make 16? And one four is four, two four is eight, three fours are 12, 4, 4 is a 16. 4, 4 is a 16. So I made, I placed 4 cupcakes in each column. I just made 10 columns this way, 4 columns in this box. So I just made 14 columns of cupcakes. So 4 times 14 equals 56. So we'll practice some more time. So let's do another four. This time, 92 divided by four. So 92 cupcakes, 92 cupcakes altogether. Now, we're going to put cupcakes in columns of fours. How many columns can I make? So again, I'm going to divide this into tens and ones. Four lots of 10 is 
40. Yes, I can fit 40 in there. I have I have 40, I have only 92. Yes, I have 40, that's good. Let's try 20. Two times four is eight, so that's 80. I can still fit in 80. I can use 80 in here, 80 cupcakes in this box. Can I use 30? 30 columns of four, four rows of 30 is four times three is 12 and zero is 120. Busted, too many. So, 80. So 20 columns this way, four rows. So 80 altogether here. We can just write it underneath this. I just used 80. And I have 12 left. One, four is four. Two, four is eight. Three, four is 12. So answer should be 20 and 3, so 4 times 23 equals 92. 4 times 23 equals 92. Cool. Let's see if you can do it by yourself. I'm going to give you another question. Eighty-four divided by three. Let's pause the video. Let's see if you can do this by yourself. So I have eighty-four cupcakes altogether. Three lots of tens thirty can fit in. Three times twenty is sixty. I can still fit in. 3 times 30 is 90, or too many, so 20. 3 times 2 is 6, so that's 60 in here. You don't have to write down. So 60, I just used 60 cupcakes. Left over, 24. So I should have 24 in this box. 3. One, three is three, two, three is six, three, three is a nine, four, three is a twelve, five, six is a fifteen, six, three is a eighteen, seven, three is a twenty one, eight, three is a twenty four. So three cupcakes, twenty eight columns will make eighty four. So three lots of 28 equals 84. So answer should be 28. Here's the answer. How did you go? I'm going to make this slightly harder for grade four, five and six students. So 762 divided by six. So this time we have three digits. So let's divide this box into three different boxes. So let's see if I can do that. There you go. So we have hundreds here, tens and units here. So can I fit 100, lots of six? We have, remember we have 762 cupcakes. Six times 100 is 600, which I can fit in. 200? 200 times six is two times six is 12, 1,200. No, nope, we don't have that many. So I can fit 100 columns or six rows of 100 cupcakes in here, which is 600. 600 is, now 600 cupcakes are used. Now left over is two, six, 162 cakes. Can I fit, now this is tens. Now this is, this box is for the tens. Six times 10 is 60, I can fit in. Six times 20 is 120, I can still fit in. 
30. 6 times 3 is 18. 180. That's too many. So let's use 20. So 6 rows of 20 is 120. 120. What's left? 2, 4. I have 42 cupcakes in this box. So 1, 6 is 6, 2, 6 is 12, 3, 6 is 18, 4, 6 is 24, 5, 6 is 30, 6, 6 is 36, 7, 6 is 42, 7, 6 is 42, and it's gone. I use every single cupcake. Now, I can see 6 times 127 is 762. So answer must be 127. Your turn, ready? Right, 468 divided by 3. Let's practice, let's pause the video. Ready? We'll do it together. So, I make three columns again, because I have three digits here. The answer may be three digits, possibly two though. However, let's put 100 in here. Three times 100 is 300. I don't think I can put 200 there because it's gonna to be too many. So, three times 100 is 300. I just use 300 cupcakes, done. Let's see how many left. This is tens column. So 10 lots of 30 is 30. Oh, I can fit loads more. 20, that's 60. I have 168, I have so many. 30 times three is 90, I can still fit more. 40 times 3 is 120, we're getting closer. 50 times 3 is 150. 60 times 3 is 180, oh, that's too many. So, 50. 50 times 3 is 150. I just used 150 cupcakes. What's left? 8. One, 18 left. So let's see what can be the last column in the last column. Let's see what's this number here. One, three, three, two, three is a six, three, three is a nine, three, four, three is a uh, twelve, five, six is fifteen, six, three is a eighteen. So if I have three cupcakes, I can make 156 rows to make 468. So answer should be 156 down here. Cool. Last question. So 315 divided by 7. There is a slight problem here. So let's pause the video. What kind of problem or issue or difficulty can you see or can you predict? Let's pause the video. Well, let's give it a shot. So I'm going to divide this into three columns, hundreds and tens and units, right? So I have 315 cupcakes all together. How many hundreds? 100 times seven is 700. It's too many. So I cannot use this column. Uh-oh. You can see that was the difficulty here. But I still have 315 cupcakes. Let's go with tens. 10 lots of 770. 20 lots of 740. 
30, lots of 7, 210, I can still fit in, 40 times 7, 280, 50 times 7 is 350, that's too many, I only have 315 cakes, so 40 times 7 is 280, so that's, I just used, so 40, Five, three, 35 cupcakes left. So I have already used 280 and I have 35 cupcakes left. How many sevens will make 35? One, seven, seven, two sevens are 14, three sevens are 21, four sevens are 28, five sevens are 35. So, if I have 315 cupcakes, seven rows of cakes, I can make 45 columns. 45. That is the answer. I'm going to give you three questions as usual at the end. Three questions. 441 divided by 3, 625 divided by 5, 324 divided by 6. See if you can do it by yourself. If you have difficulties, you can just rewind the video and you can learn it again. So, good luck.